the information I got blew me away. AMD is really seems like they're just going all in. Three nanometer IO die for some products, 24 cores above six gigahertz with V cache. Yeah, I wonder what you think about that. When would this chip have been largely designed and developed and sort of some of these strategies put into place? You're talking about a few, a couple of years prior to now. So, you know, AMD is probably predicting Intel is not going to be stagnating as much anymore. They're probably seeing movements in their process, no technology, movements in their design architecture, all that sort of thing. And so it makes sense that AMD would be thinking for Zen 6 and future products that they can't just play it safe with some of these things and that to be competitive, they probably will have to go all out in these areas. And yeah, it would make sense that they're going for a lot of these things. It seems like a very opposite approach to how they've acted in the past where they're like, what can we do? Let's cost optimize it. This is the best we can do for the price. And this time they're like, it almost feels like there's a mandate to win in a way I haven't seen before. It would make sense. If they think they're going to be in a leadership position with the current generation, then it would make sense to go, well, if we can make high products and start making tons of money from them, let's do that. And that's based on what you're saying seems to be the path that they're going. But I mean, some of these things that you've suggested in these slides wouldn't be overly surprising to me. 